Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I'm assembling this uh, EG helmet, which is called OpenBCI. Mostly for me to, to better understand, so I'm just documenting what I'm doing. It is uh, literally everything open, open hardware. And in fact, you can find online the 3D model and also the circuit, although they can, you can buy everything ready. It's not a clinical device, it's more a research device. You can find uh, many publications about it, but none of them is considered to be, uh, it can be considered a medical device. And yeah, this is the structure which you can 3D print yourself, although to print this is probably better if you divide the model in more parts and then uh, put it together with super glue or with something else. And uh, uh, there are uh, dry electrodes or wet electrodes. For reading the, the signal, you need to, to read and to amplify. There are some boards. For example, this is the Cyton, uh, which is only for eight channels. And that can be expanded with the daisy mode. mode. So essentially, you have to put together this the, um, Daisy and the Cyton, and it's transmitted. Uh, the recorded signal from this uh, amplifier is sent to a computer, which can be recorded and further analyzed with the, this kind of a USB dongle. So here I have already inserted the, mm, the elements that allow you to to put the electrodes within the main frame, and they. So essentially follow the 1020 standard. They come with this kind of uh, little um, connection thing. And they, in theory they follow some specific color. So if you read the, the other tutorial you will find that, uh, for example, the, the F FP uh, electrodes are supposed to be gray and purple because then you're going to attach everything in the back to connect to the site on board following specific, uh, remembering which are um, the colors, so to help you figure out from the colors what are the specific electrodes to connect to the site on board. So the black is more like uh, uh, the ground that is going to be attached to the your ear with those clamp. And I can try to close this thing. Ta-da! The next step is to download the uh, OpenBCI GUI for your operative system to see the time series uh, directory on your computer and if necessarily also to download the drivers. At this point you can plug in the USB dongle and you can launch the GUI. But if you're using Linux, either you give the rights to your user to access the USB input or you launch the, the GUI as a super user. Ole! Now if you see, some regions are not visible and this is because the electrodes don't touch my head because the helmet is too small. Then we also have a Pi OpenBCI which is a Python library to access uh, directly the data. You can simply install it like this, you can install it with pip and I put in the description the link of the GitHub where you can do everything with these few lines of code.
And there is also a graph like uh, this one visualized uh, with PyQt. This example was made with TensorFlow and if you go to this link you can see the precisely the model that has been used for with all the convolutional neural networks layers uh, for this case. And that's what was used to classify, uh, what, if I was thinking left and right, as I uh, mentioned before. But this is obviously just an example. You can do with EEG and machine learning other things. And if you have suggestions, just write me in some comments below. Bye.